like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. And once you're done, leave a comment down below and I just might end up responding. Professional wrestling is made up of all sorts of characters, and while occasionally an anti-hero or tweener will walk through the door, I'd say a good 99% of all wrestlers are either baby faces or heels. And while the faces thrive off fan support and the audience in attendance cheering them on through a match, the heels love nothing more than berating a crowd and drawing in those ever so glorious boos. I'm D Wicked from Watch WWE, and here's 10 times the wrestlers trashed the fans. Number 10, Kevin Owens. Uh, so, get used to hearing that name, because full disclosure, there's a lot of Kevin Owens on this list. Because if there's any single wrestler signed to WWE's roster today that knows how to draw heat out of the fans and really twist a knicker or two, it's my man Kevin Owens. His lowest entry on this list is a simple one, something I'm sure Kevin has done legitimately hundreds of times throughout his indie career. Ringside fans are known to throw taunts at the wrestlers they dislike as they make an entrance, and usually they're getting off scot-free. Unfortunately for this fan, Kevin is not so gracious, and instead of just ignoring him and heading to the ring, KO turns on the fan, approaches him, and immediately points out how, oh, why did this fan suddenly lose his edge now that he's staring face to face to the man himself? Once the fan gets his words back, KO just stands there smug before baiting out a flinch and hitting the ring. Classic healing 101. <laughs> Number 9, Kevin Owens. Don't say I didn't warn you. Kevin comes back and this time he's aiming his shots towards the elderly. In a line that definitely was a house show exclusive as sponsors would lose their collective sh** over such insults. KO goes after the old man at ringside booing him and after disregarding the man and his opinions, he goes for the brutally savage, it doesn't matter anyways, he'll be dead in 5 years. Oh man. Something about hitting the elderly with the old you're gonna die soon is some rough shit, dude. And if you don't like that, well, guess what? It really doesn't matter. Because you'll be dead in about five years. Number eight, CM Punk. Remember how Kevin Owens is making this list a lot of times? Double that for WWE Backstage's favorite background player. And first time Punk makes this list sees him in his pedophile stashed new Nexus days, likely on another house show tour as even though these insults weren't thrown into a microphone, they're still the kind of things WWE would very much try keeping away from the TV screens. Punk hilariously yells that you have a vagina at the fan berating and booing him before getting a little homophobic on a faux hawk call out. Definitely not the kinds of things that be a star's WWE would like sponsors seeing. You have a vagina! You have a vagina! Nice, nice faux hawk, you Number seven, Kevin Owens and Elias, because 100% yes, this is awesome. It's strange to think this episode of Monday Night Raw took place nearly two years ago, but when WWE came knocking to Seattle, they burned the door down. During the partnership of Kevin Owens and Elias, the pair verbally decimated the hometown basketball team, and that's just simple, basic heel etiquette. The hometown and their heroes slash sport teams, super easy targets to draw in the booze. Some of the best insults and loudest crowd reactions of all times involve these kind of cheap jokes, and cheers to it. I I am in absolutely no place to call someone out over a cheap laugh or two, but KO and Elias have taken the cake on this one, folks. The duo are listing off things that just don't make sense, and Elias spews, it's like having a basketball team in Seattle, and the boos don't stop. Kev, you're going to have to speak up. These people are being very disrespectful. I said you know what else is in my thing. Number six, Ronda Rousey. Okay. This is getting ridiculous. We, we've we seen some brutal bashings on this list already, but just, oh, just wow. The absolute verbal assault that Ronda Rousey puts on display towards these innocent Canucks just trying to make their way through Toronto is terrible. Ronda Rousey is just... she. Guys, she's flat out disgusting in this clip, threatening to break briefcases, shooing off people aggressively for just touching her, openly asking for more topics to hate on. Hell, even 
Poutine wasn't safe. Be wary, my friends of the North. Steer clear of the night, Rhonda, walking your streets, harassing your neighbors. Thanks for everything, Rhonda. It was great one, tonight. Please. Oh, what else can I say please, to people last in Canada? One. What do people don't like? What can I say? Uh, so, uh, we have bad poutine. <laughs> your poutine looks like vomit. Yeah. Number five, CM Punk. There's few better at improvising insults corresponding to what's happening around them than CM Punk. The man is just good at the whole talking thing, and with the gift of gab in his back pocket, he's able to take an individual fan and what they're doing and turn it into a moment. For example, when one gentleman is very audibly booing during a punk promo, he turns on the man, acknowledging his purchase ticket and ability to boo as he pleases, but begs this rando to step between the ropes so he can be rendered a toothless, crying heap of a man? This man came out to the ring kayfabe pissed off and spun a situation into great TV that fits his character in makes total sense. This is why the man deserved the Mania main event, folks. Sir, you paid your ticket. You want to boo, that's fine. But I dare, I, I dare you to step in between these ropes and you'll never boo again. Number four, Batista. Simplicity, fellas. Oftentimes, the best of moments come from the smallest of things, such as Batista being yelled at by a child. I hate you, Batista! And big sweaty Dave aggressively retorting, I hate you too! <laughs> simple, simple, but effective. There's just something about how ridiculously flustered Big Dave gets. It just hits the comedic nail right on top of the head every time I see the clip. Delivery really is everything, and Batista was playing and seeds early just to let us know that yeah dude can act his ass off when he wants number three cm punk and right back to the chicago native this time he's throwing the disses at fans of alternate products impact wrestling tna at a very strange decade through the 2010s starting with eric bischoff and hulk hogan taking over trying to pull a wcw in 2010 and failing ridiculously going head to head with monday night raw but slowly and surely it turned into a legitimately good product in 2020 you can get away with being an impact fan in 2010 you would not get away with being an Impact fan. Punk's having a good little back and forth with this schmuck, mocking his usage of the Cena catchphrase, you can't see me, before saying, I bet you watch TNA, joking around with his friend, and adding in a very sarcastic, it's good. Spoiler alert, it was not good. Number two, CM Punk. One of the all-time great crowd callouts also happens to come from one of the greatest promos ever performed. And say what you want about Punk and his pipe-bombing ways, but that promo literally broke the internet for a while and shunted pro wrestling back into the mainstream because that is how good it was. During the promo, Punk is shooting down every single person in the building before turning to the fans and adding that those cheering him were just as responsible for his leaving, citing their devotion to WWE despite the company not recognizing the clear star in Punk, adding a funny line about them asking for signatures at airports to sell on eBay. At five in the morning at the airport, you try to shove it in my face so you can get an autograph and try to sell it on eBay because you're too lazy to go get a real job. And number one, Kevin Owens. Look, I love CM Punk, he came close, but there's one man, and only one man that could top such a list. And of all the moments where fans and wrestlers have interactions, this is unquestionably the king. During a house show, surprise surprise, Kevin Owens was facing Roman Reigns, this taking place during KO's hilarious run as the headlock master. He'd usually shout some nonsense during headlocks, oftentimes. I'm the headlock master, but during this occasion, a fan actually shouted back, leading to KO going on verbal decimation mode with Reigns still trapped in the headlock. I'm, I don't know what's better, the ridiculousness of seeing Kevin Owens insulting one man while holding another one to the floor, or the fact that Reigns clearly is not holding his shit together and cracking harder than a chiropractor. And those are 10 times that wrestlers trash talk to fans. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. If you like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and notifications ain't that bell.